at 48, I was going bankrupt. And in fact, it looked like I was going to have to work until I died. At 58, I had earned over a million dollars and had set myself up to retire in comfort, all because of one word, goals. I had not only learned how to set goals, but I'd also learned how to achieve them. And goal achievement is the key to success in life and business. Having said that, I want to state what goals are not. They are not a list of things you want to possess or accomplishments you want to experience. They're not aspirations or dreams or wishes, and they're not a picture on a vision board. All of these things can help you with goals, but they are not what's going to help you accomplish a goal. Even writing it down won't do that. Goals, and especially the achievement of those goals, are part of a process. And they are a way to think, plan, and live your life to its highest potential. Hi, I'm Lorna Rasmussen, and this channel is devoted to helping you build a profitable business so you can live the life of your dreams, whatever that dream may be. For me, it's living here in Costa Rica, where I live and work. Before I go on, let me remind you how important it is to us that you subscribe to this channel. And give us a thumbs up if you like this video. It helps us to continue to bring you this valuable content. So let's go on. First, I'd like to ask you, what is the most ambitious goal you ever set and achieved? If you feel inspired to do so, please go down in the, in the comments and write it down. I think that would inspire a lot of us. So I appreciate it. My mentor and my friend, Paul J. Meyer, had one of the best quotes on this subject that I've ever seen. Here's what he said. Whatever you vividly imagine, ardently desire, sincerely believe, and enthusiastically act upon must inevitably come to pass. Now, the first time I heard that, I took it almost like a promise. But what I've come to understand is that every word in that quote, every phrase, is an element in the formula for achieving your goals. First, vividly imagine your success. When I was imagining moving here to Costa Rica, I conjured up an image of the property that I wanted to live on. I thought of it, I dreamt about it, I drew pictures of it, I described it to my friends. I could picture it down to the last blade of, of grass. But when I moved here to Costa Rica, I discovered that no such property existed. There were elements in this property and another element in that property, but none of it came together in a single property. But I still had such a vivid view of what this property should be like that I kept telling my realtor, it's got to be out there. We've got to be able to find it. And I didn't want anything else. So one day she brought me by here. And here was the property, exactly as I had vividly imagined it. That's powerful, but even more powerful is the second thing that Paul says about goals. Ardently desire the outcome you seek. There's no room for just wanting it. Thinking about it would be nice, uh, especially when the others around you think you should do this, that, or the next thing. You must have the desire because you need to persevere to work and strive to accomplish your goals. So the desire has to be a burning desire. Then what you're going to do is you're going to measure what you get from that goal with the sacrifices you need to make. And that's what's going to tell you the value of it. And it'll basically support your desire. So I found this property, this dream property but I found it at the wrong time. I was still fighting with the insurance company in Atlanta, Georgia, because my house had been flooded. And the house was being repaired, so it couldn't be sold. And in short, I just didn't have the money or the means to finance it. But boy, I ardently desired it. So much so that I was willing to be creative and find a way. Next is sincerely believe. 
Now, this doesn't mean just believing in your goal or your ability to achieve it. Above all, it means to believe in yourself, in the fact that you deserve this goal, that you have what it takes to achieve it. That may take a lot of time, a lot of work, in some cases, years. I know for myself, I have documented proof that it took me over five years of working on myself to finally come to believe in myself. And boy, was it worth the work because that was the beginning of everything. So finally, Paul says, enthusiastically act upon. And this is the place where it can all fall apart. For those who are not prepared to put the work in, necessary to make their dreams a reality, work is a four letter word in a world that wants instant gratification. It's not a time to ask how much work, because the answer has to be whatever it takes. So you vividly imagine, you ardently desire, and you sincerely believe in your goal, then no amount of work should be too much. But it isn't pedal to the metal kind of work. It's not grinding it out type of work. It is a plan you put in place to ensure that the work you do leads to the accomplishment of your goal. It's a plan of action, one that causes you to measure progress day by day, week by week, month by month, until you accomplish the goal you set out for yourself. What I'm sharing with you has practical implications in all areas of your life. Let me tell you the story of the time that I sat with my husband trying to figure out how we were going to get out of a situation that seemed insurmountable. We had just learned that the whole side of our house was about to collapse due to rot. And my husband's business was suddenly faced with a $35,000 tax bill. And we had no money coming in because he was subcontracted to a company that just stopped paying him. We sat down to start writing out our goals to get out of what looked like an impossible situation. And I asked my husband how he was feeling. His response was surprising. He felt that prior to us learning about goal setting, we would have been arguing with each other and blaming each other. But now he said, with a smile, actually, I feel kind of excited. We've never had a challenge in our lives like this. We proceeded to plan our way out of that situation. I'd like you to have the training I did on this subject. The link to access it for free is in the description down below. And I can guarantee it will change your outlook on life. Remember to think outside the box. We want you to have a successful business and the lifestyle that you deserve. Goal setting and achieving is one of the most important skills to building a, a successful business. And it's the foundation for achieving everything in life. So be sure to get that free program down below. And on this channel, we will be exploring in the future how to effectively build your business, what tools and resources you need. And we wanna support you to create a profitable business and thus a life you love because that's what you deserve. I'll see you on the next video.